TJ Watt. And it, this is the third storyline we're getting to might break Michael Strahan's single season sack record. And this is especially impressive considering he hasn't played in two games this season in three other games that TJ Watt has played. He played fewer than 50% of the Steelers defensive snaps. So what he's doing one sack away from tying Michael Sam's record. I, I will argue this. I think TJ Watt's having the most impressive season by an edge pass rusher in league history, given those caveats of he hasn't been 100%. He hasn't played in every game. The games that he has played, he has played not all, you know, the defensive snaps that he'd be able to if you were completely healthy. We are seeing one of the best single seasons from an edge rusher that we've seen in the history of the NFL. And like, this is the third thing that we're talking about here on today's episode of the Believe in Steelers podcast. Watt's been incredible. Yeah, you meant Michael Strahan, not Michael Sam, but I get it. Use him. Thank you. Guy. Thank you. I, un- I understand what you're saying. But at, at, the, at, the, at the same time, I mean, a full piece when it comes to the sacks, come on, man. Like, TJ last night was playing out of his goddamn mind. I think the defense had a total of nine sacks against Baker Mayfield. Yes, sir. Browns. So you got you got a defense and a, you got the defensive line and the linebackers getting a little piece for all starting with TJ Watt and we seeing how close TJ Watt is and TJ Watt missed a couple of games and TJ Watt only been playing fifty percent of these last five or six games. TJ could have been on the thirty piece if he would have been playing for the long run. So that's just letting you know, yeah, our money and our value is worth it plus more. So I got a guy who has more sacks than anybody in the league who missed a few games who haven't been playing every snap in these games, and he's about to break the sack record. <laughs> as, the, as the organization, I'm saying, man, my draft picks and my money is well invested. I'm getting nothing but return off my money. So I ain't really got to press and be aggressive with my money, man. My money just going to know what to do on his own. That's what T.J. White is. That's exactly what that young man is doing. Two have four. Two have four sacks. In one game, <laughs> one is harder than the mother. And the reason why it's so hard, he was getting chipped by running backs. He was getting chipped by tight ends. Sometimes he was getting double teamed by other offensive linemen. And guess what he did? He was getting a sack, a quarter. Guys can't wait to get a sack, a game. Last night against the Cleveland Browns, he got a sack, a quarter. <laughs> That's how good T.J. Watt is. Shout out to T.J. Watt, man. I hope he breaks this Michael straight hand sack record and bring that thing home to the city of Pittsburgh because that's what we do. We sack quarterbacks, we eat them, and we spit them out. Yeah, they were hunting the quarterback, and it reminded me of Michael Strahan. Ike. First time a Steelers player has gotten four sacks in a game since Joey Porter 20 years ago, Ike, right. one of your former teammates. And it was the usual suspects for the Steelers. Cam Hayward played well up front, four, four tackles, a sack, a TFL, two quarterback hits, two pass breakups. How about Chris Boswell, too? Four field goals made and two extra points made as well. The usual suspects out on full display for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But it wasn't just the four sacks with TJ Watt either, though. Ike. Three tackles for a loss, five quarterback hits, and he made James Hudson the third's night a living hell. I, I, I don't want to throw Hudson under the bus because he's a rookie. Oh, hey, rookie, go up against the best edge rusher in the league. Not just in the league, but maybe in the league of the last three or four years, and uh, <laughs> good luck. You're going one-on-one against him. Like, hey. <laughs> Jack Conklin's normally there for the Browns, though. He didn't play in last night's game. That's my point. And you're a rookie going up against T.J. Watt, and you saw what happened in one-on-one matchups. Hey, that was that was, that was Halloween for for the young man playing at the right, right side tackle position, and that was a, a late Christmas present for T.J. Watt for the <laughs> – Browns putting his ass in there to get to get his ass his issue. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what happened. Um, feel sorry for the young kid, but hey, when they throw you in the water like that, man, <laughs> when they throw you in the water full of sharks, that's what happened. You got one big shark, he just so happened to be on your side, and he had himself a field game. So so there you go. I don't care. We beat the Cleveland Browns. They shouldn't have threw his ass up in there. They should have at least put a tight end on the side every time. I'm so happy for T.J. Watt getting them full sacks.